Hi, in this video, we will talk about install Gradle in Windows. So install or you can say configure Gradle in Windows. So for that, what do you need to do? Right. So first we need to download the Gradle from this location. So gradle.org slash install. And then you need to configure the system variable for the Gradle. So you can do that process. They, they explained in this uh, location means in this URL, how to do manual installation, installing manually. So verify the Gradle installation. Okay. So open the command prompt and type Gradle hyphen hyphen version. Right. So first we will check whether Gradle is already installed in our machine or not. So for that, open the command prompt. Okay. This is my command prompt. Just type Gradle space hyphen hyphen version. You see that Gradle is not recognized as an internal or external command operable program or batch file. Okay. So when you're getting this kind of information means Gradle is not installed in your machine. If it is already installed, you'll get the version of this Gradle. Okay. So now we'll follow the steps, right? First, we need to download Gradle. So after that, how you configure this environment variable that I discussed here, file explorer, go to the file explorer, right click on this PC, go to the properties, advanced system settings, environment variable, and add bin path folder to the system path variable. Okay, so first we will download. So this is the location gradle.org slash install. So once you come here, there are prerequisites for this. Okay, what is that prerequisite? At least you should have Java 8 already installed on your machine. Okay, so Java is the prerequisite. So we'll see Java is installed in my machine or not. Java space hyphen version. So error could not create a Java virtual machine. So, okay, I have typo there. Java space hyphen version. You see that I have open JDK 11 version, but at least we should have eight. So I have 11. Okay. I have version 11, right? So the prerequisite is there in my machine. Now we need to download. So go a little bit down. So you can do this multiple ways. You, you can use SDK in the Mac. You can use homebrew, all these things. But here, what I'll do for the, you see, binary only. So click on this. It will download the this uh, zip version of your Gradle. So it's still processing. You see, started. So Gradle 7.4.2. It is 110 MB. Let it download. Right, it's done. Go to the location. So just extract this, okay? Extract L, extract. So now it is extracting. So after that, what we need to do? So we need to configure this environment variable, right? So if you go to the other URL, so let it finish. It's about to finish. Yeah, it's done. So it will open the file. So no problem. You see that Gradle 7.2. So again, it is giving me bin. So whatever it is, okay. 7.4.2 inside this bin, all these folders are there. So now we'll go to the other URL, which we discussed, configure the environment uh, variable. So the Gradle documentation itself mentioned how to do all those things. Okay. So here, if you come a little bit down, so installing manually, binary only done. And here, 
you need to verify the installation how you will verify gradle hyphen v or version so here microsoft windows users create a new folder c colon gradle with file explorer once open a uh, second file explorer with go and directory where the gradle distribution double click on this zip all these things um they mentioned here somewhere installing manually okay anyhow we'll go to the procedure which we just discussed right so this one i'll cut i'll cut this one i'll go to my c drive so here i will paste this so gradle 7.4.2 so go to this and go to the bin folder copy this c colon gradle 7.4.2 slash bin this location you need to copy i copied this otherwise right click copy now what you need to do you need to follow the instructions this one right click on this pc properties advanced system settings environment variable gradle bin path folder to system path variable right that we will do now so right click count this pc so this is the pc right click and go to the properties so this is the properties so here advanced system settings click on this advanced system settings and click on this in this tab which is advanced tab click on this environment variables once you come here so you need to go to the system variables of path this is the path under system variables these are user variables okay just click on this edit so you have all these things you see jdk also already configured the same way you just edit this sorry not this one so new one right new one so here you just paste that whatever you copied c colon gradle 7.4.2 bin and then click okay click okay click okay and you can close this one so that's it that's it you can close this one also now if you go to your command prompt right uh, in number of command prompt open so whatever it is so we previously verified gradle version it is not there so you again type and verify you see that still it is showing what gradle is not recognized so the reason is this command prompt is already opened so if already open just close that open a fresh command prompt okay open a fresh command prompt and then type gradle space hyphen hyphen version now you just see you see that welcome to gradle 7.4.2 right so what they mentioned to see this one he just mentioned v it seems hyphen v so now we are getting so much information here are the highlights of this release all these things we will see gradle hyphen v so the same kind of information but you see gradle 7.4.2 along with that you got groovy kotlin and all these things okay all right so this is how you can download and configure gradle in windows machine okay whatever we discussed in this windows machines in our next video we will talk about how to do the same thing in mac machine okay so that's all in this video thank you